March 14, Saturday of the second week of Lent. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. So to them Jesus addressed this parable. A man had two sons, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of your estate that should come to me. So the father divided the property between them. After a few days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country where he squandered his inheritance on a life of dissipation. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck the country and found himself in dire need. Coming to his senses, he thought, How many of my father's hired workers have more than enough food to eat. But here am I, dying from hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hired workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But the father ordered his servants, Quickly! Bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fatted calf and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate with a feast. Because this son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son became angry And when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I served you, and not once did I disobey your orders. Yet you never gave me even a younger goat to feast on with my friends. But when your son returns, who swallowed up your property, with prostitutes, for him he slaughtered the fatted calf. He said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I have is yours. But now we must celebrate and rejoice, because your brother was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. The Gospel of the Lord. Father, filled with compassion, the parable of the merciful father is often known as the parable of the prodigal son. It is noteworthy that the magnanimous father shows his overflowing love, mercy, and compassion to both of his sons, each needing mercy in a unique way. Pope Francis asserts that manifesting God's mercy is the very foundation of the Church's life and mission. All of her pastoral activity should be caught up in the tenderness she makes present. Wherever there are Christians, everyone should find an oasis of mercy. Misericordia, Vultus, number 12. We pray, Lord, Make us your instruments of mercy, this Lent and always.